Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you have a guys a car made by General Motors such as guys Chevy, Buick, GMC or Cadillac guys and you have guys that annoying message on the dash that tells you that the hood is open okay when actually the hood is closed guys we're going to explain what can cause that now and how to fix it quick introduction guys we have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop why guys because our mission is to save you as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video we hope that you will find the information helpful if you guys need any tools parts anything like that check out guys the link in the description of the video below that's where we uh, purchase everything for our, car, for our cars. So, on that Chevy Cruze now, guys, okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the hood all the way. Check it out now. I'm going to go ahead and close it all the way. And now I'm going to go inside and I'll show you how it says that the hood is open and we will explain what causes that, okay, and how to fix it. Uh, it's not very complicated procedure, guys, but uh, you might need to buy some parts. Now, I'm going there now, guys, okay. We'll turn the ignition on. Okay, I'm trying to find the key. Perfect. So, now, when I start the car... Okay, hood is still closed. When I start the car, guys... Okay, check it out. It says hood open. Annoying message, guys. Annoying, right? I mean, it doesn't go away. No matter what you do. Okay, that message is there, guys. So, how we are going to fix that thing now? Very simple guys. I'm going to explain what can cause that and what to expect. I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off. We're going to turn the car off and we're going to go ahead, open the hood and I'll show you what we need to fix now. So I'm going to go ahead, open the hood, okay, and let me show you now guys, okay, what is causing all that trouble now. Okay, every every uh, vehicle will be different where uh, your latches and all that stuff, but most of the times, okay, they will be right in the middle, okay, in the middle of the upper radiator support. This is, guys, your hood latch that keeps the hood closed. So, if physically, guys, the hood is closed, but the computer is not uh, reading that, okay, there is only one, okay, one possibility. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing here, guys. Check it out. This is just the wire that opens the hood when you pull the lever. This is the mechanism that you manually open it so you can pull it up. However, if you come on the back side, you notice that there is one wire in, really. Okay, or somewhere around the hood latch there is a wire. And I did some digging and right there in the corner there is a cable. So inside that uh, hood latch, guys, there is a small micro switch that detects if the hood is open or closed. Those switches are super little bitty guys i, I mean they're they're uh, so little that they're barely noticeable and you have to take the whole latch apart okay to actually get to the switch and replace it but on most cases you cannot just buy the switch guys only if you have a parts car or something like that you may be able to fix uh, one out of the two latches but uh, in most cases you have to buy the whole new latch that's what we have to do so if you want to see how to replace hood latch we have the video on the channel check it out guys not very complicated we'll go ahead uh, remove ours replace it and see if that will take care of the problem that's the purpose of today's video not gonna waste your time showing you that because some vehicles will be different but let's see if the new latch will fix that problem now so hood latch has been replaced i'm going inside now guys now, uh, always check the wiring harness too, to make sure that it's not a loose wire that came loose from the latch or make sure that it didn't get cut somewhere by the hood because that could happen too, guys. And if the wire sometimes is disconnected, it can cause that as well. So, if I start the car now, what is happening? Okay, we don't have that warning message anymore, guys. You can see absolutely nothing. Let me see where, okay, it actually said about the warnings. If I can, I don't think, well, nothing, nothing here, guys, empty. So, hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.